Hey folks, friends and neighbors and loved ones. I'm up here on the top of Cape Perpetua today. I'm with my new friend and neighbor, Chris Gill. Uh, you'll meet him in a moment and I'm going to uh, take a look up here and it's starting to snow a bit and hail and uh, but I'm going to give a short introduction so uh, uh, this is Sunday day after Christmas and I'm so lucky to have my new neighbor Chris who just moved into Little Whale Cove you'll meet him in a minute and uh, he was kind enough been getting to know him he's come moving here from Iowa he works at Drake University and he's moving out here and they want to retire and uh, we're just really happy to have him here and I'm going to introduce him around the uh, county and because we need that kind of talent his wife uh, has an outstanding uh, career too and they're young you know they're a lot younger than me I can tell you uh, her name is Nina and they're wonderful and they're originally from Spokane, you know, so they're not uh, far away, but they selected to, um, uh, the Oregon coast, and we're so happy they did. So, um, uh, this is Steve Sparks, Children and Families and Life After Trauma, and uh, C flat, uh, www survivetribeptsd.org and I'm going to take a break right now and uh, so it's uh, kind of a cold day up here and uh, you know it's snowing a little bit and we're going to be up here just a little while and I wanted to kind of get around here and let you take a look at what's going on down there on the, on the beach on a beautiful day up here at Cape Perpetua. How about that? Aren't we lucky to get up here today? How about that? So, let's look at this for a while, okay? I like to look at the leaves and I like to walk up or fly up to the top of the cape and look down to the coast and see how beautiful it is. Isn't it beautiful? So let's look at that for a while and then when uh, Chris comes back we'll sit here for a moment and chat and uh, I'll go back over here and Look at the look at the ocean and we'll have some fun with that. There's Highway 101 down there and you can look up the coast and it's just so so beautiful. How about that? Hey, hi, Chris. Hey, there he is. He's moving into Little Whale Cove. He's a photographer. And he just wanted to get up here. Look at how happy he is. <laughs> I, am, I am happy. Steve. Yeah, I know it. And this is uh, Christmas. Pure joy. Yeah, and so we'll watch him a bit. And uh, I'm glad you are able to say hi, Chris. We'll watch you for a minute. How about that? Meet Chris Gill. Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, everybody. Look at that camera. I love your camera, Chris. Wow. My camera bag is the most expensive cubic foot in our house. And she's not wrong.
Chris is a high-tech guy, too. So we have a lot in common. I love that. He works for Drake University in Iowa. He's the chief information officer there. So we have a lot in common. We've been talking about a lot of things. I don't get to talk about high to high tech guys like that on the Oregon coast. So we've been going back to well, back in the day and the early days of internet and things that I won't bore you with, but you can imagine how much fun I've been having. So I'll let Chris do his thing and uh We'll get back to it. So I'm looking over at uh, Highway 1, and uh, there's the clouds, and we're looking at the shoreline down there and through the trees, and wow, you know, doesn't get any better than that, does it, folks? So we'll look up to the coast and head on up to Cape a little bit and look out there on this beautiful day. What do you think about that? When I publish this, uh, I hope you folks will subscribe to my YouTube channel and, and uh, come with me on this journey. I'm doing a t one of my first tour guides today with a person who is moving here and wanted to know all about the coast, and uh, so we've been doing that today, and uh, and then I love doing this, so you know how much fun I'm having, so we'll get back to you, all right? We'll wait for Chris to come back, and... We'll go back and look up the coast and let that let you look at that. Well, so Chris is uh, behind the tree, but uh, let's see if we can find there. He is, you know, yeah. Uh, hopefully he uh, there he is. You know, there he is. Let's see if we can keep track of Chris and. I don't know, I like to play peekaboo with the camera, you know, look at that, peekaboo, 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 uh, uh, peekaboo, Chris is, there he is, here he goes, Chris, he keeps hiding, you know, there he is, maybe he'll, maybe he'll come out, and that's all right, and he's get, kind of getting there, and, uh, Look at that camera, wow. Isn't that fun? So I'm gonna leave him alone and see what we can see, okay? And uh, that's okay, that's okay. You know, uh, he'll get there, you know, and he, he and uh, Nina are gonna be here part-time and uh, we'll be able to uh, get on Zoom, and uh, maybe I'll help him out. Maybe he'll help me out with some of my collaborative work I'm doing with higher education and information technology. I just love that. Uh, I need some extra help with our new platform, uh, www.survivethriveptsd.org, and uh, I'm hoping that Chris and I can collaborate. I love working with higher education and a lot, of, a lot of action there. And I'm looking for collaborators on a lot of different things, and workplace wellness and um, website development, all that kind of stuff. It's really fun. And uh, so Claire, Chris and I are probably going to be already fast friends and I just really appreciate working with him so I'll be back to you